In this video, you will learn how to set up a basic roles and permissions system for your application. Before we dig in, let's define what a role is. A role is a group of users that have a shared set of defined permissions with respect to submission data within an application. Some common example names of roles used in applications include administrator, sales agent, registered user, authenticated user, and the list could go on and on. Users can carry multiple roles at a time. Let's dive right in. To access your roles, navigate to the Project Settings and click the Roles tab. Every created project within Form.io has a set of three default roles within it. Admin, Anonymous, and Authenticated. You can view, edit, or add your own custom roles for your project at any time. The only role that you are not able to edit or delete is the anonymous role. This role is reserved for users submitting forms who have not yet been authenticated in your application and are unknown to the system. This is typically used for login registration forms or any public form like a survey you would like your users to have unauthenticated access to. For authenticated forms, utilize the role assignment action, which can be configured to distribute a certain role when a user registers or logs in. You can find more information on how to set up authentication in the authentication video guide. For the purpose of this video, we will utilize the default roles that came with our project. Roles are defined within a form in relation to the permission system. They dictate what forms or resources users have permissions to within your application. Let's take a look at the different permissions we can configure for our forms. Click the Access button on any form or resource to view the seven permissions you can delegate. Each set of permissions pertains to that specific form or resource. The first three permissions, Read All, Update All, and Delete All, are typically reserved for administrative purposes. This set of permissions within a given role will provide the user the ability to read, update, and delete all submissions made through that form, regardless of the submission owner. The remaining permissions pertain to specific submissions created and owned by the user. The create own permission will allow a user within a given role to create a submission. The user will be assigned as the owner of the submission by default. Read, Update, and Delete Own allow users to perform those actions on the form submissions they have created and own. For a brief overview, in our previous videos, we set up a user resource complete with login and registration forms, along with an authentication system. We also set up a customer and quote form with nested resources between the two. Now, let's assign roles to our permissions for our forms. Click the Access tab for the registration form. The only permission I would like to set for this particular form is the Create Own permission with the anonymous role. This means that an unauthenticated user or anonymous user can access and submit this form. Since we already have a role assignment action assigned to this form, once submitted, that user filling out the registration form will be assigned the authenticated role when they log in. Repeat the same steps for the login form, assigning the anonymous role to the create own permission. For the quote resource, I want only authenticated users to be able to submit this form. Set the permissions create own, read own, and update own to the authenticated role. This means only users that have logged in and received the authenticated role can create, update, and read their own submissions for this form. With that in place, let's see if the roles and permissions are working correctly. For the purpose of this video, I have already created an account by submitting the registration form through our application. Click the Launch tab and select Single Page Form. Launch the login form. Input the credentials used to register. Because I have the create own permission set with the anonymous role, I'm able to submit this form without it throwing an unauthorized error. If we check our local storage inside our console log, we can see that Form.io has given us a JWT token with the authenticated role. Now that we have our token, go back to the launch page and click single page form. Launch the quote form. 
Complete the form and submit. Because of our token given to us through the role assignment action when we registered, the system knows we are an authenticated user and we are able to submit this form successfully. If you delete your token within local storage, refresh the page, and try submitting the form again, you will receive an unauthorized error message and the form will not submit. Now that we have a roles and permission system in place, let's head back to the role section within project settings. As a reminder, you can create as many roles as you, the developer, see fit. I've just created a new role called Agent. Now let's view an active role, such as Authenticated, to show you a quick shortcut. When you view a role, you can easily see what forms utilize that role and what permissions are assigned. Click the Edit tab to easily manage the roles and permissions for that form. Here you can see the agent role I just created can now be assigned to permissions within the form. Click the Action tab and add a role assignment action. The role I just created will now be available to distribute via the role assignment action if needed. For more on roles and permissions, feel free to visit our help guide. And thanks for using Form.io.